tell us what that is. It's a laser music show. Oh, I've seen one of those. Okay, yeah. Laser hits mirrors, goes, flashes up on the dome, things move it around. Pulsates with the music. Yeah, I saw one yeah. of those at Disney World. They're pretty spectacular. There's a lot of them going around the country. You, you may have heard of them. Laser Beatles, Laser Pink Floyd, Laser Bon Jovi. And if you like heard, those, no, I have not heard of those. Okay, but I mean, <laughs> if you like that kind of music, you go and lay there and just look at the images, and it's kind of spectacular. So you kind of, have a concert of Beatle music, and the lights would do the Beatle music right. along with the mm -hmm. music. You kind of buy those off the shelf, I guess, don't they? Essentially, and yeah. Those, play them like a record. Yeah, the, the nationally or internationally known artists are known around the world. Those shows are produced in other states, and they are sent here. The laser sort of has a script, and he has to do certain things during a hard day's night or, or whatever. But uh, a local music producer decided that uh, there are a lot of excellent musicians right here in our own backyard in Utah, so why not set their stuff to music with a laser? This show is going to be different than any other laser show that's ever been performed at the planetarium here. At 9 o'clock tonight, the lights will go down, and up on the planetarium dome, birds will fly, boxes will spin, and things that look like this will do, well, this all set to the words and music of 14 musicians or groups from Utah. Producer Nick Fry came up with the idea after seeing some of the other shows at the Planetarium. This kind of thing is exciting to me. And from that, um, coming to see one of these shows, being very impressed, but realizing the sound system could be better, and that they were only using um, material that was nationally known. So he brought in some huge speakers and a digital audio tape machine with the idea of producing the ultimate music video. It's called Laser State of Mind. The, the music we're putting on is the stuff that was more um, usable from a visual point of view. The, there may be stuff that is better intrinsically, but certainly sound quality wise, this is as good as we can get it here. So who's in the show? Sam Carden. The Bachelors. I'm going crazy over you. Walter and Hayes. Mormon, Mormon rap, do the Mormon rap. The 14 songs in the show span the entire Utah musical scale, from classical to heavy metal. In some cases, this show will serve as the artist's musical debut. For instance, there's one person we're discovering. Uh, he's 12 years old. He's been in national competitions, but no one's heard him before because he's only ever recorded for his grandfather. Um, that was totally well produced, um, professionally done, and it's a two-minute new, new age piece. No one's ever heard that before. After he got copies of all the songs he wanted, Nick then got together with laserist Michael Mills, who started creating the look of the music. We sat down and we listed out each artist and said, well, this, mu this song has a, a, an ocean sound in it. It's got a seabird in it. Well, let's see, I've got an image of a bird flying. Um, this effect here looks like waves. This is kind of a blue, cloudy effect. We can put that up as well. The first song in tonight's show is called Hyperstimulation by The Bachelors. Phil Isom sang it. I asked him how he thinks it ought to look. And it's about a guy who sees a woman that he's incredibly infatuated with, but he knows that it wouldn't be good for him. And so the, rhythmically, the song is very repetitive, and uh, there's a lot of energy in it. And so I expect to see moms bursting in there and all that kind of stuff. Well, Phil, we got a preview a few days ago. Something like this. We posed the same question to Sam Carden, who recorded Fire on Ice, a song he wrote for ABC during the Calgary Winter Olympics. I would hope that they'd do something kind of majestic, because when, when you think of the Olympics, uh, and when, we, when I think of this piece, I still get a feeling of that sense of, of just, the, you know, the world uh, is, is there. I can only wonder what Walter and Hayes' Mormon rap is going to look like. I'm talking to you religiously. My Mormon rap will make you see. I'm as funky as Donnie and Marie. When can we see that? <laughs> Starts tonight. The debut show is tonight uh, at 9 o'clock, and they were going to run it every Thursday night for the next four weeks in sort of a trial run with these 14 songs. 
once they put this together, is it the same show every night? You've seen those dancing flowers you put in front of the radio. <laughs> yeah. the ra well, do they turn on this laser thing and it flashes when the music plays, or is he actually... He's actually flipping all the switches and... and he's creating the beat he's himself. He's creating it, and, and Michael says every show is different. And he says, if I see, if there's an effect that I do and the audience goes crazy over, he says, I'm going to try that again on another song. So he says each show will be different in that respect. But if he, he finds a, you know, something that he likes and that works well with a certain song, he'll keep doing it. But it's a one-man operation. One man operation, his hands are doing this the whole hands. time and turning and everything like that. It's kind of fun to watch him. Now, they have high-tech equipment. What kind of um, professional requirements were imposed on this selection? What, 14 groups? Yeah, uh, the producer, Nick Fry, wanted the all of the music professionally done, either on digital audio tape or compact disc. Since he, this was a representation of Utah's best musicians, he wanted it to sound as crisp and clean as he possibly can. And how could other <coughs> excuse me, musicians who think they might be in that same category get on this show nick, nick wants to to listen to some tapes he's uh, soliciting other musicians there's a lot of people out in utah that uh, do composing in their basements and studios and never do it in public so he wants to hear some of it so every thursday night for a while for every thursday night for a while and then they'll reevaluate and perhaps change a few songs here and there and hopefully it'll go on for longer than that salt lake laser light music show you bet thanks <laughs> keith mccord